Hey everybody, this is Jeff over at Runnergy. Uh, and uh, I may have done this video before, but anyway, I'm gonna redo it if I did. Uh, I get a lot of people who ask, how do I, where, where, first of all, they ask, where do I run when I run trails? And I grew up uh, in Encino, which had Dirt Mulholland right in its backyard. And so I'm most familiar with Dirt Mulholland. But most people enter Dirt Mulholland from Reseda, uh, which I'll show in a different video. Uh, I tend to start from Encino Hills, obviously. And so I get people who ask me all the time, well, how do you get to the Encino Hills entrance? So I'm going to verbally tell you how I got to where I am right now which is on a street just before the Dirt Mahon entrance. Uh, so what I did is I came from Ventura Boulevard, which has got a CVS pharmacy, a Gelson's uh, on there on Ventura Boulevard, and a street called Havenhurst. Okay, not Hazeltine, which is in Sherman Oaks, but on Havenhurst. And what I do is I go up Havenhurst going south, towards the hills and you go up and you'll get to a T. Uh, first you're going to hit a stop sign that is for uh, I believe Libet. Just past that. Keep going up Havenhurst. Uh, you're going to turn right at a T. To the left it will say Lanai. Don't go left at the T where Lanai is. Turn right and that is will continue as Havenhurst. You'll bend to the left, go up Havenhurst until you get to a street called Encino Hills. Okay. Um, altogether, it might be as far as about maybe a mile from Ventura Boulevard. So you're going to go all the way to a street called Encino Hills, turn right, and then you're going to go up Encino Hills, which is a pretty good steep hill. And, uh, and that is where I am parked right now in my car. And we'll, I will show you where that is right now. Bye. Okay, so as I mentioned here, I am on Encino, uh, right off of Encino Hills. Uh, let me see if I can get that in here. Uh, yep, see there, Encino Hills. And that's the street here, which is pretty steep hill. And the street that I am on, is I tend to park on this. This is called Severo. Um, let's see if we can get that into the shot here. Probably not. Uh, but it's Severo. S-E-V-E-R-O. Uh, I turn left and park right here. The reason I park here and not on Dirt Mahon, which I'll show you in the next clip, is uh, my vehicle is fairly low to the ground. So, um, and it's a leased car, so I don't want to park on the dirt uh, and get the bottom scraped up or damaged in any way. So, But if you have a vehicle that you can park, uh, I'll show you in the next clip where you can park right on Dirt Mulholland. So again, right behind me, this is uh, Encino Hills. A car is going to go by, you can see. There you go. So I'm walking up to the entrance where the dirt the dirt is so this is the this is what it's going to look like as you're pulling up you can see it's pretty broken up road here there's a car coming by again don't go to the left that will take you to the freeway you're going to want to go this way where the dirt is now where that truck is if i had that kind of vehicle that's where i park uh, when I have a vehicle that can handle this kind of terrain, which my car, I think it would have been stuck already. So this is where you're going to be as we're coming up. This is now Dirt Mahon, even though it's a little road. See where those cars are? That's where it's going to become dirt up there. All right. So, this is, this is what it would look like this way when you go to leave. Again, where that truck and car, that's typically where I park. So you look at this truck coming up. He's gonna just have no problem coming up here. I won't keep the camera on him. I always get a little funny with cameras on me, people I don't know. 
Anyway, it's a couple people. So this is where these yellow pools are. This is like the official starting line right here. This is where you would start for Dirt Mohon. And uh, there'll be this sign right here. And see, he's just parking right up here. A lot of mountain bikers. And we're about 200 meters from the entrance. And you can see all the cars parked here. It's a really nice day. And I'll try not to be you on know, these people too much, but they are going to the left here. As I'll be going to the right, as today I'm going to what's called the Nike Tower. But where they're going, we'll take you to what's called Mountain Gate. And that is, that is to the left here. That will be on another video. I'm going to be going to the right. So as you can continue on the Dirt Mall Hall here, you'll see another yellow gate. That basically means at this time, they don't want any cars coming up. Howdy. How are you? Good. Uh, so that's to the right here. That would continue Dirt Mohon to where we're going, where I'm going today. I guess you were going, you're coming with me. And that would be called the Nike Tower. And it would be about a mile or so, just, just around a mile uh, going in on Dirt Mulholland. All right, catch you at the next point. There'll be a sign like this to the right. If you see that, you know you're going the right way. Now, I don't know if you can see it, but way out there, let me see if I can zoom in there, to the left, that is the Nike, the Nike Tower that we are going to up on this road. We're about three quarters of the way, and one of the first signs that you know you're getting close is, let me see if I can zoom in here. Uh, I'm not sure if you can see those antennas, but you'll be looking straight ahead and you'll be seeing these antennas. And that's how you know you're getting really close. Uh, I don't have exact measurements, but it's probably about 200 meters or so. Uh, but this is your first sign that you know you're getting really close. See you at the uh, entrance to the Nike Tower. We're getting real close now. Now you can see those antennas to the left. I'm gonna basically walk you in now to the entrance where the Nike Tower is. And you'll see these poles on the left, electric poles everywhere. Howdy. And this is the entrance here. This is the, these wood stumps here, which I think are filled in now or something. Boy, I was here one time. Here it is. Here it is. This is the one that's empty. I was, I'm, I forget what was in there, but I was in here one time and this stump, man, I was looking over this way, which by the way, here's the view of the San Fernando Valley from the entrance of the, uh, where Nike Tower is. Oh, I almost forgot. Down below there, that is where uh, the Encino Lake, I believe is. I uh, could be wrong, but I believe that's Lake Encino there. Uh, it's like a reservoir. Uh, as you can see, it's pretty filled because of the rain. But there's the mountains, there's the valley going all around. And But anyway, I was looking this way, and I, I was looking actually yeah, this way, and all of a sudden I heard this buzzing, and it just got louder and louder. And someone told me, get away from the stump. And uh, lo and behold, man, I, I believe it was termites that were flying, just thousands of them. Uh, but there it is, there's the infamous uh, wood thing here with the, <laughs> you can see has been eaten away. So there were definitely termites here. So back to the uh, entrance here again, that's the entrance. That's where we came from. Uh, it's just a little over a mile. And then here's the gate here that goes for straight. And this gate will take you to Sullivan, Fire Road 30, Bent Arrow, Reseda Boulevard. Now the main one from the valley where you can park is the Reseda Boulevard. And I forget the official name for it, but it's like Marvin something. And uh, that will be another video. Uh, so, but uh, basically that Dermot Holland, you got this one here, which is Westridge, which we'll do a video for that too. And, uh, and then it continues to Sullivan, and then, which is to the left. Fire Road 30, I believe, which is to the left. And Bent Arrow, I believe, 
which is to the left, and Reseda, which is to the right, because that's going to the, the valley down Reseda Boulevard, where you can pull up. Now let's go back this way. Howdy. Oh, we got bikes coming in. And here's the entrance. Here's some of the signs. There you go. And there's this kind of toll booth, MD toll booth. It's been here forever to the left. And again, this was a military base. And there's the Nike tire. We're going to go up there. Anyway, this is uh, where we came in. There's the Nike, the towers. Uh, well, I'll show you a view from there in just a moment. As you come in, these are some wonderful things that I didn't know about when I first came up here. I had ran by Mulholland just a dozen times before I knew there was a bathroom in here. And, uh, howdy. And if you ever get stuck up here, this will be your best friend here. And, oh my goodness. There's a kid, there's a phone in here. That's pretty fun. <laughs> well, I wish I knew about those bathrooms when I first came up here for a couple years. Actually, it was a couple years before I realized there was bathrooms up here. Someone showed it to me. But you don't have to worry about that because you just saw this video and now you know that there's bathrooms up here. And I just realized that this is all going to be in a vertical view. I apologize about that. But it's a little easier to hold the camera in this vertical uh, angle than in a horizontal. All right, when I show you the views up on the Nike Tower, I'll make sure I do it in a horizontal view. Okay, we'll go up there now. As I said, I'll keep this in horizontal view. And uh, here's some of the views from up here on the Nike Tower. And there's those uh, antennas. And here's the valley. I don't know if you can see that lake. Seen a lake. And there's that entrance is right there where we came in. So you're pretty high up up here. And there's a view. All right. Well, you made it. We made it. Here we are over this direction, which is south. There's downtown. You can maybe see the buildings down there. All right. Well, and then over here, you can see this is Sullivan. Uh, sorry, not Sullivan, Westridge. So there's those bathrooms, and if you continued to the uh, straight to the left down there, you'll see uh, Westridge goes all the way down to the west side or into, I believe, Brentwood. All right, I will see you on the way back here and have some final notes. I can hear horizontal mode. <laughs> sorry about all that. Anyway, this is just behind the Nike Tower, and... Uh, I wanted to make sure I got this in because there's these three big blocks here and they're they are fantastic for meditating uh, which I'm a huge component of uh, a big fan of uh, you know even if there's three of you you can meditate right here they're just the right sizes the views are amazing so anyway if you come up here there's more picnic, picnic tables but uh, yeah if you come up here definitely take take a moment if you meditate come up back here and and uh, check it out here. It's just really peaceful, great spot for uh, for doing that. All right, see you at the next spot. So now since you've been to the Nike Tower, or we've been there, uh, you're now gonna leave. You're gonna come back the same way. There's that booth on the right, and this is the exit. And where you, you wanna make sure you go right. <laughs> Don't get disoriented and go the way this, uh, this runner is going. <laughs> Uh, keep running for him. Uh, so uh, go to the right, and that would take you back to Dirt Mulholland and back to Encino Hills, where I am parked. So I will show you uh, the way as we go, and we'll see you then. Just coming down Dirt Mulholland here, and we are coming back up this way. This is back to uh, where Mountain Gate is. And as you can see, this gate is here, which really puzzles my mind because a Toyota 4Runner just drove up this uh, Dirt Mulholland here about a quarter mile up. I have no idea how they got through here. I mean, uh, unless they you can actually open this, but that looks pretty locked to me. Uh, we have some magician, magic Toyota 4Runner people up there. <laughs> anyway, 
this is the yellow gate back to uh, where Mountain Gate entrance is, where all, the, all these cars are. In general, this is about the furthest you can really drive up to, um, unless they open this gate. So, got about a quarter mile back down this way, and I will show you the spots getting back to the car. See you there. Here we are, back to the end of Dirt Mulholland. Here is that yellow gate. I'm trying to stay off these cars. I found that to be more difficult than <laughs> you would think. Uh, but anyway, here it is. This is uh, the back to the entrance of the Dirt Mahon where we started. And there's that sign. And there's the Dirt Mahon. And there's a lot of clouds. So that's what's giving this kind of effect of shadow, uh, making it hard to see. But I hope you can see this. And uh, back this way is back to the car. I um, had to switch cameras. Uh, so again, this is Jeff. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that helps you experience getting to Dirt Mulholland via um, Encino Hills from the San Fernando Valley. Anyway, uh, this is Jeff. Uh, thank you so much for joining me here. Uh, that is how you do the two mile route to, in, to the Nike Tower and back from Encino Hills. And again, you can just keep going from here. You can run all the way to pretty much the Mawabu. I mean, it, it keeps going. You won't outrun the trails here. Uh, beautiful day today. Uh, thank you so much for joining me. And as always, run well, live well, be well. Thanks. Have a great day. Bye.